you so much, everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome to The Tonight Show. Well, guys, uh, the big story today is that following this week's Supreme Court ruling, Trump was forced to turn over millions of pages of his tax records to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. Millions of pages, yeah. The only place you'll find more ink is Rudy Giuliani's sideburns. <laughs> Man, I feel bad for whoever's second in line to use the copier in that office. Like, uh, how long you got to be? Like, well, it shouldn't be. There's only like 100,000 100, more. Double sided, so maybe go get a frappuccino and come back. But this, uh, this really is big news because after they thoroughly go through each document, Trump could be charged around the year 3000. <laughs> you can tell that they're uh, Trump's real tax returns because under total loss, he still didn't declare the election. Wow. <laughs> that was a good time. Speaking of Trump, President Biden's been in office just over a month, and people have noticed that he never calls Trump by name. He'll call him the former guy or mention the previous administration. I mean, he's even called him things uh, like... Oh, here we go. Treat, what's up? Uh, let me guess. Now you're going to do a silly bit where you list a bunch of funny nicknames that Biden called Trump. I mean... Yeah, that was, that, was the, that was the plan. And each joke will pop up as a graphic so everyone can see it and laugh about it. <laughs> right, right. Jokes work better when there's a visual component. Sure. It's all so predictable. Like, the graphic will be a photo of Biden and Trump. And then under Trump, you'll list names like LL Cool J. <laughs> or, or, or One Terminator. Uh huh. Or uh, Don Jr. Sr. <laughs> or or uh, Princess Impeached. <laughs> or something like the only guy on MySpace right now. <laughs> and then you'll close with something a little more risque, like Y M C A hole. <laughs> is, is, is that how this is gonna go? Yeah, you, you nailed it. Yeah, it seems like a fun bit. You should do it. <laughs> Great, well, we'll do it tomorrow. Can't wait. <laughs> well, this is crazy. On a recent flight from Cincinnati to Phoenix, a pilot noticed something strange in the air. Listen to this. An American Airlines pilot radios in a mid-flight close encounter with an apparent UFO. We just had something go right over the top of us that, I hate to say, this looked like a long cylindrical object. That's right. It could be a possible UFO. Yeah, aliens were looking for intelligent life, and they didn't find any on an American Airlines flight during a pandemic. <laughs> I love UFO sightings, you know, it's like, th that could be an alien, or a Domino's delivery drone. <laughs> when they heard United was like, sorry, our bad, that was our plane, the wings just fell off. <laughs> hey, listen to this, the CDC just found out that gyms with maskless users are considered to be high risk for the spread of COVID. Yep, the, the report also found that uh, people running on the train tracks are more likely to get hit by a subway. <laughs> Americans are like, really? Because I, I was about to go to Planet Fitness and lick the elliptical. Is that okay? <laughs> I used the bicycle seat as a face mask. Is that okay? I found this towel. Can I eat it? Is that okay? <laughs> I eat the towel? <laughs> Get sued by Brian Regan. <laughs> yeah, the CDC says people must wear masks and put at least 20% more effort into pretending to wipe down the machines. That's right. Gyms with maskless users are high risk for the spread of COVID, and they're not the only risky places. Watch this. Well, new this morning, CDC researchers say masks may be key, particularly to stopping the spread of COVID-19 at gyms. Masks are also key in stopping the spread of COVID at the following places. Hot breath competitions, sneeze buffets, fever-only yoga, tickle and cough parties, human petting zoos, 
lollipop swap shops, and Fire Festival 2. Oh, come on now. Fire Festival 2, I, I got tickets to that. Yeah. <laughs> Hot breath competition. That's <laughs> Uh, some entertainment news. In a three-hour event yesterday, Paramount Plus revealed all of the content that will be available on the new streaming service next month. People are already calling it the best streaming service next to Netflix, Hulu, Apple TV, HBO Max, Disney Plus, Discovery Plus, ESPN Plus, Amazon, and Peacock. <laughs> Soon people are going to be searching through 20 streaming platforms and go, I wish they'd invent something where you could find all these shows in one place. And they should call it cable. But the big Paramount Plus show that everyone's talking about is the Frasier reboot with Kelsey Grammer. Yep, they want to attract young viewers, so naturally they rebooted a show about a seven-year-old therapist. <laughs> I wonder if uh, Kelsey Grammer's agent was like, I got it. You could be Frasier again. <laughs> Morty, you son of a bitch. You did it again. <laughs> Listen to this. Hasbro is trying to be more inclusive by dropping the Mr. from its Mr. Potato Head brand name. Yeah, it's just going to be called Potato Head. I haven't checked, but I'm pretty sure Tucker Carlson has spent the last 12 hours foaming at the mouth. <laughs> by the way, if the new Potato Head kneels during the anthem, every person on Fox News is going to explode. That's just way. Meanwhile, conservatives are already striking back by releasing a slinky with a penis. <laughs> Some news from overseas in England. There are reports of counterfeit wine bottles. Listen to this. Cheap wine lovers are the target of a scam. Someone is mass producing counterfeit yellowtail wine. Victims report that the color and the taste were off. The maker of yellowtail wines confirmed that the bottles were indeed ripoffs. Who's counterfeiting yellowtail? <laughs> the yellowtail people are like, we're so upset here because we know our one is far superior thanks to our 30-minute aging process. <laughs> Get this, in Washington, a high school band is practicing in pop-up tents in an effort to prevent the spread of COVID. Yeah, practicing is easy. The hard part is marching. Uh, parents at the concert will be like, that's mine, green tent number 24. <laughs> I'm sure the kids are just happy to play. Can we see another picture? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the only kid who's got it worse is yeah. the cellist. <laughs> yeah, right. Can we, can we have those? Yeah, you guys all did to get the band together? Please, yeah, please, yeah. yeah. Uh, asked why he decided to do it, the music teacher said, because it's funny. <laughs> And finally, we're all bored during the pandemic, but check out what this Colorado woman saw two guys doing in the snow last week. <laughs> One of the guys is like, join me and together we can rule Beaver Creek, Colorado. <laughs> C-3PO was like, I'm detecting signs of virginity. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it's on.